Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. This time I'm going to talk about La Liga transfers uh, from the transfer window that closed about five days ago or something. Uh, yeah, it is a uh, winter transfer window what I'm talking about, so uh, this uh, grading will not take uh, any things from this summer transfer window. So. It's purely based on the winter transfer window. And uh, for La Liga it was a tough one since they didn't sign that many players. At least not that many teams signed many players. So it was a bit difficult to make these. Uh, or, yeah. But let's get to it. So uh, first up it's Almeria. Uh, they signed uh, Luis Suarez, the Colombian striker, uh, on loan, and they lost Fernando Pacheco um, to Espanyol, but uh, I believe they have a goalkeeper uh, called Fernando or something like that who plays for them, so Pacheco didn't really get to play that often. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Suarez has already scored for them once, so I'm gonna give them um, I'm gonna give them a nine. Um, uh, then uh, Athletic Club or Bilbao um, was one of the teams who didn't really do much, so uh, they didn't sign anyone really, and Asier Villa Libre. Uh, went on loan to Alaves, I believe, but yeah, they didn't really do that much. Uh, I'm gonna give them a seven. Then uh, Atletico de Madrid, um, they signed Memphis Depay on free from Barcelona, or uh, was it like maybe a couple million euros, uh, and Doherty uh, from Tottenham, even though I believe uh, they signed him for free as well, but yeah, and uh, they lost Ha Felix to Chelsea, w which might hurt them. That was on loan, but still, uh, Matheus Cunha to Wolves and uh, others on loan, and Felipe to Nottingham Forest for, I believe it was only a couple million euros, but yeah, Ha Felix losing him hurts. But Depay and Doherty, I believe they are, those are solid. So I'm gonna give them an 8 because they tried to change things up, uh, up I think. So, yeah. Uh, then Barcelona. Uh, FC Barcelona obviously having financial troubles. Uh, they si signed no one, at least that's what I think. Um, because I believe there was Juliana Rauho, uh, well, uh, a right back who they tried to sign, but uh, they couldn't sign him on time. So, uh, and they lost Depay and Bellerin. So, uh, Depay could be a big loss for them, even though there's Lewandowski and others. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give them a six, since I think that they m probably should have signed one or two players, but they obviously couldn't. Then uh, Cadiz, um, uh, they sent Sergio Guardiola and Escalante on loan. Um, yeah, and Denis Suarez. Uh, wait, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Denis Suarez uh, from Celta Vigo, but uh, Cadiz, uh, Lucas Perez was the one who I was thinking, the striker. Uh, he left Cadiz. So, yeah, and they got striker and other striker left. I'm gonna give them an 8, even though losing Lucas Perez might hurt them, but yeah. Then Celta Vigo, as I said, Denis Suarez left on loan to Espanyol, and they got Seferovic, I believe, the Swiss striker from Benfica. Um, yeah. As I said in the start of the video, there really wasn't that much action in the most of these clubs, so it's quite hard to rank. I'm gonna give them an 8 as well, because I think Seferovic can be a solid tracker for them. 
Then, uh, Elche de Saint Magallan, uh, or how do you pronounce it, Argentinian, uh, central defender from Ajax. Um, he has played for La Liga before, I think, at least, and then they signed Enteca uh, on loan, but they lost Pastore, Javier Pastore, and uh, Ro- Roger, I believe, they lost him as well. Uh, a forward so yeah I mean they might lack a forward right now but um, um, I'm gonna give them an 8 as well then uh, Espanol obviously as I said uh, before they got Denis Suarez uh, as well as Cesar Montt uh, from uh, Mexico and uh, but Sheikha as well, uh, as I said before, with Almeria, so uh, they are trying to change things up, up as well, so I'm gonna give them an 8 as well, so many 8s, but yeah. Uh, Getafe, uh, they got Gonzalo Villar uh, from Roma, and they didn't really lose anything major, so yeah, I mean... I'm gonna give them a 7 because I think they w- would have needed to change a bit more considering I believe they are now in the relegation zone, so yeah. Um, that's my opinion anyways. Uh, Girona uh, signed uh, Viktor Tsigankov uh, from Dinamo Kiev uh, and uh, I believe they signed uh, Alexander Kalens as well from MLS. Uh, who had been playing there for a long time. They lost Samu Saiz and uh, Manu Vallejo. Um, yeah, um, I think Chukango could be a good player for them. So uh, I'm going to give them an 8. Uh, then uh, Mallorca. Um, yeah. Uh, they got August Timson, that's what I can remember, the uh, Swedish left-back, uh, Ludwig August Timson. Um, they lost Franco Russo, Argentinian centre-back, but overall, as with many of these teams, I think an 8 is probably a good one. And then uh, Osasuna, um, they didn't really sign anybody that I can remember. Uh, a long time veteran uh, Robert Torres left, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna give them a seven just because they didn't sign anyone. Uh, Rayo Vallecano, uh, uh, I, I believe, as many of these teams, they didn't really sign anyone. They lost uh, Bebe and Enteca on loan, as I mentioned before, um, but. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm gonna give them a 7 for the same reason as Osasuna, they didn't sign anyone, so, yeah. Uh, Real Betis, uh, they were more active. They lost Ale Moreno, uh, or Alex Moreno, uh, to Premier League. Um, I believe they lost more players like Diego Lainez uh, on loan, as well as Loren Moron and uh, Camarasa, but they got uh, Abner, uh, the Brazilian fullback, who I think could be very good for them, uh, young, possibly upside there, and then they got Ayose Perez from Leicester, who I think could be great for them uh, in return to La Liga, so yeah, I'm gonna give them a 9, because I think those signings could be good ones. Uh, and before I get to Real Madrid, I, I'd want to mention that I've done uh, now uh, Premier League and Bundesliga versions of these uh, transfer window, uh, window ratings. So you might want to check those out. Um, so Real Madrid, uh, I believe I read about this a uh, couple of days ago. Ancelotti said they didn't felt feel the need to sign anyone, so yeah, but uh, I'm gonna give them a 6 as well 
um, because um, the, well Barcelona lost players but uh, Real didn't lose really any players but Real is behind Barcelona right now in points so maybe Real would have needed to sign someone but we'll see then uh, Sociedad uh, I can't remember what they did to be honest <laughs> I believe they lost like Kari Kaburo uh, on loan but that's about it I mean uh, I'm gonna give them a 7 but yeah maybe they would have needed to sign someone as well to keep in the, them in the Champions League spot then uh, Sevilla uh, they signed quite many players actually I believe like Bade and Pape uh, Gouet from uh, Marseille um, Brian Hill got back as did uh, Lucas Ocampos uh, that might be important signing for them um, but they lost some players as well I think Isco uh, Delaney Dolberg uh, Augustinsson as well so there was quite a lot of change but their uh, season hasn't gone that well so far so it's understandable. I'm gonna say Brian Hill and Ocampos could be great players. So I'm gonna give them a 9. Again for the effort. They did try to make changes. So yeah. Uh, Valencia. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember that anything happened for them. So uh, at least not that major. So I'm gonna give them a 7 as well. Because uh, they just uh, let Gattuso go so um, yeah maybe they would have needed some signings as well um, Valladolid uh, Darwin Machis went to there as did uh, Larin the Canadian striker who they signed from uh, Belgian league so I think Larin could be a very good signing for them but they lost uh, Weissman the Israeli international and Sergi Guardiola, uh, they got uh, Selim Amala, uh, Moroccan player, and Cabral as well. So they sent quite many players, and they're trying not to get relegated. So I'm gonna give them, um, um, hmm. I mean, they did try. Uh, I'm gonna give be bold and give them a ten, a first ten in this video. Um, because I like uh, the possibility of Larin. I believe he scored one game winner already for them. And then uh, last on the board, Villarreal. Uh, they didn't really sign anyone that I can think. But they lost Dan Schuma to Premier League. Uh, was Tottenham, I believe. They lost it, lost him too. And Jeronimo Rulli went to Ajax. Um, and they didn't really replace those guys, so um, I'm gonna give them a 6. So, yeah. Uh, let me know your thoughts about my ratings about the winter transfer window, window and how these teams did in the transfer window. And uh, d did I wrongly rate, like uh, was Real Madrid and Barcelona too low, too low or uh, what? And Hit the like and subscribe if you so want and have a nice day.